Now to a Global News exclusive. The federal government has stripped a Canadian organization of its charity status after an audit revealed it may have links to a foreign militant group. One of the newest members of our Global News family, reporter Stuart Bell, broke this story. And Stuart joins me now from Ottawa. Stuart, who is this Canadian group and how did these revelations emerge? Well, the group that lost its charity status is called ISNA Islamic Services of Canada. And what the federal auditors found was that it was issuing tax receipts for money that was actually collected by a separate organization, the Jami Mosque in Toronto. And the auditors also found that that money was going to a group in Pakistan linked to Hezbollah Mujahideen, which is a group that has been fighting the, uh, the Indian forces in the Kashmir region along the border between India and Pakistan. Uh, this Hezbollah Mujahideen organization has also been listed as a terrorist organization by the European Union, and just last month its leader was placed on the U.S. terrorist list. Now, uh, Mark Bloomberg, who's a charity lawyer, believes that the Canada Revenue Agency should be more transparent about these types of investigations. Parliamentarians and the public have a right to know if there's a significant concern that CRA has about a charity operating inappropriately. Stuart, is this a group that's engaged politicians of all kinds over the years? Well, this charity, as well as the second one that's related and also lost its status at the same time, were both affiliates of a group called uh, ISNA Canada in Mississauga. And politicians of all stripes have attended ISNA Canada events over the years, including Justin Trudeau in 2013, and as recently as April, Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale. All right, Stuart Bell in Ottawa, thank you. Whoever changes his religion from El Islam to anything else, kill him in the Islamic State. Meet Abu Usama at Thahabi. If I were to call homosexuals perverted, dirty, filthy dogs that should be murdered, that's my freedom of speech, isn't it? One of several controversial guest speakers who lectured at one of Ottawa's largest mosques. The Canada Revenue Agency has now stripped the Ottawa Islamic Centre and as -Salam Mosque of its charitable status over concerns that activities there promoted hate and intolerance. In an audit obtained by Global News, CRA agents wrote, many of the views expressed by the organization's speakers are misogynistic, homophobic, racist and or promote violence. Speakers such as Sahid Rega, who had this to say about then Prime Minister Stephen Harper. And he's the enemy of Islam. And Bilal Phillips, a man deported from the Philippines for allegedly inciting terrorism, refused entry to the U.S., U.K., and Australia, among other countries. There is jihad in El Islam. What's the most beloved and favorite thing for a mosque? Jihad in Sisa The CRA says the mosque failed to disclose the names of speakers, but government agents were able to uncover posters advertising guest appearances using some basic online searches. The document said there is no record of what the speaker said in the mosque, a request requirement for charitable organizations, but tax agents had growing concerns the mosque was being used to propagate extremist views. The audit states radicalized individuals later arrested on terror charges attended the mosque, including Ashton Larmond, now in prison for attempting to join the Islamic State. Former CSIS officer Phil Gursky has worked with the CRA in the past and says the decision to strip charitable status is significant. I don't think this decision was taken lightly. The mosque's leadership say they have kicked out the men who promoted extremism and reported suspicious activity to CSIS. The mosque's treasurer told Global News it was devastating for us, like an earthquake, but also suggested the audit was politically motivated. The mosque secretary added, we don't tolerate any hate. The mosque had been audited several times by the CRA and warned about its speakers even before it was designated as a charity. The tax department found much more than just those questionable talks. There's evidence of serious financial irregularities, mosque property leased to commercial businesses, and missing documents and emails, plus unidentified foreign money. Farah? Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa, thank you.